Hello my soccer universe. It is time for the Premier League jersey review. Yes, I decided to do that one uh, next. And yes, uh, we have of course 20 Premier League teams in there and decided to split it up into four videos of five teams each. So before we go into it, I just want to give you an idea of how I came up with the teams in each for each video. First off, I took all the pictures. I went on footy headlines uh, and screenshotted the jersey pictures from there. And then I also, um, if I couldn't find a good gold school picture, I did a Google search and, you know, sometimes it's store pictures or whatever. That's how I compiled the pictures that you will see in this video. I always try to find one where there's only the jersey that's not on a mannequin or a play or whatever, but sometimes it doesn't work this way. Now, this is how I got the pictures. For the teams, I decided to take last season's final standings and then I'll go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on, as you see up there. And then I choose for the corresponding video uh, the teams and sort them alphabetically. And so, as you can see, in part one, we have the champions, Manchester City, we have Leicester, we have Brighton, and we have Everton, and we have Leeds in there. And starting alphabetically, we of course start at Brighton. And for Brighton, the home jersey, I have heard that the fans don't like it, but I have to say the moment I saw it, I actually immediately liked it. First off, I, I think I know what's uh, not like. That's, of course, the inclusion of the yellow, especially down the center. But given that the beak of the seagull is also yellow, I actually think this fits very nicely in. The only thing to me that does not fit is the American Express sponsor because it could use the same color as the, uh, you know, the same blue as the, the, the rest of, of the jersey. Then I would say it's even perfect. And, of course, breaking up the... Um, the center stripe, I mean, it's a big H there, which I don't think is all, all as nice. I still don't get why they're not using it's just an outline around, you know, make a white outline or around the American Express. It would look fine. Any case, I still think, and given that this is a, a Nike temple that I really do not like, I think this looks actually really, really, really nice. And I wouldn't mind having this one on my wall here because I don't have a Brighton jer uh, jer jersey yet. I think we're starting out really well here. I am very much in love with this jersey. I'm going to give this a 9. It looks actually quite nice. Uh, the away jersey, yeah, with Brighton away, which is we always have it. I don't like it. It has nothing to do with any of the club's colors. It's just orange with a little fade and then a black thrown in for good measure. It is just, nah. Is it bad? Nah, but I, it, it doesn't do it for me. On, on, honestly, I'm gonna go three stars. And then the um, third jersey is, I think the reuse from last season has the same problem, except that maybe the shade is a little bit more towards, you know, Turk was a little bit more towards blue and so on. So I can get a little bit more on board and I think this leaves are interesting. Though, so I'm sticking with the four stars that I gave it back then. Going next to Everton, which I'm wearing in a weight jersey here. Uh, I gotta say, this is a very interesting uh, home jersey. It looks very traditional. First off, uh, the two things I don't like uh, is the humongous sponsor. It's way too big. And I actually miss the kazoo on it. Honestly, I really like the kazoo sponsor. Uh, the steak.com, it's not a bad sponsor. It actually go. It looks all right, but it's too big for my liking. And also the white patch under the arms. I mean, it looks like sweat stains. I never understand why any manufacturer wants to highlight all these patches. That's the negative. The positives is I really love the white collar the crew neck it looks really nice and i love the subtle pattern in there which of course takes st rupert's tower all over and this is a common thread among all the everton shirts gotta say uh there is more to like than to dislike and it definitely goes in the higher category for me and i would actually give this everton shirt an eight star i know we're starting out quite high here uh, the away jersey in pink is maybe the one, uh, it looks a little bit too psychedelic to me. I know pink is all the rage. 
if you do this in white and blue, I actually could get on board with that a little bit more. But for, for, so it's again uh, just some weird colors and that are not related to a club. Or if it's pink and blue, I think even that the pattern, yeah, so and so. I honestly have, have to say this goes more in the scrap heap for me. Um, yeah, I think for me it's a three star. The positives, do you see the outline around the steak? That's what we all about, what we want to see on a striped jersey as well. However, it's immediately uh, improved by the third jersey. Um, what a jersey. I mean, you see, I actually like a yellow jersey for Everton. Uh, and then with the blue, look at the crest. It's just at the St. Rupert's Tower. I think it is really, really nice. I mean, fun side note, I think St. Rupert's Tower is a lot more squat than it is in the Everton crest. And then the pattern builds all over really like this one i think this is uh it puts a twist on a classic everton shirt uh but it still looks very classic or classy and for that reason i'm more than happy to give this jersey um i want to give this a uh, eight star as, as well I, I really really like this one uh to be honest leads i also like this one Yes, it's a simple Adidas template, but this is for the first time where I'm looking at uh, Adidas Leeds shirt where I'm saying, yeah, I actually don't mind this one. And I actually think that they finally got the essence of it. However, they took out a little bit essence as well. Uh, why is the yellow so pale? I know this is probably a modern twist that I don't get. I like strong colors. Uh, but if you would take the color from the actual crest, I think you have a total winner here. Um, yes, the sponsor does not look all that pretty, but you know, everything is tone and tone. I actually think this, this is the best uh, um, home jersey that Adidas have released for Leeds ever since they got promoted. Uh, I think I can only th take things down because of the template and uh, of taking out a little, a little bit the color. But it's definitely more on the like side and for that reason, uh, seven stars for this one uh taking the same colors for the away jersey and again very you know uh, it's a kind of a dyed jersey i think this is very much a marmite jersey likes i like it's the club colors only and i have been looking for something you know uh, this color combination for a while i the pattern doesn't do it for me i'm sorry uh I can see why people like it. To be honest, I can even see me potentially getting that. Just for the novelty factor. I, I do not like it. To me, it's trying the right thing, but uh, it's not for the right uh, cause in a way. So four stars here. Uh, and then the third jersey, I do not get. I frankly do not get. Uh, I may get the black. I do not get the orange. Maybe there's some local thing. Drop a line below if you want to say. Uh, it is not my favorite. I think if you make a black jersey and use the um, uh, uh, yellow and the blue from the crest, I actually think this could work quite well. Uh, I think Crystal Palace has done something like that or is still doing something like that. So I actually think this could be a really, really nice jersey. Um, but so it doesn't look leads to me. That's for me to be. I mean, it's it, it's overall pleasing jersey. Don't get me wrong. Uh, although the striping pattern is also a little bit off. Uh, <laughs> looks odd. Uh, you know, it's three Adidas stripes and then they have it in any case. Um, yeah, nice try. Sorry, also, also, also going to go with four here. Uh, then we're moving over to Leicester. And to be honest... I love me a good color on a shirt. I always think this is cool. And I really like that Adidas for their prime teams brought this back the 90 style color. Having said that, when I saw this Leicester shirt, I thought this looks cheap. This just looks cheap. It doesn't look classy in any way. It just looks cheap to me. I, I honestly, this is the f it's one of the few times where I say the color doesn't look right. What well, also doesn't look right to me is the golden crest. I think if you for once forgo the gold and put a full color crest uh, there, I think you're onto something. I am also the sponsor, while not offensive, it looks too blocky to me. 
I think just the FBS alone would do it, but the trade online and the bar below, it's like it could fit in a box and that's why it doesn't look, it's just so, it, it, it looks just cheap and average-ish. And as I said, I don't like necessarily the monochromatic gold crest as well, because it just looks like it's plopped on and nothing uh, more than that. Sorry, Lester. Uh, this is just a five star in my book. Uh, the um, Wade jersey, I think they're onto something interesting here, but I think they also go a little bit too far. I gotta say, uh, what can I say about this one? Uh, again, it's similar to Leeds. If you make it black and add a little bit blue or white, I'm fine. The turquoise is what turns me off here a little bit. Again, it's not a bad jersey per se. Uh, the checkerboard pattern, yeah, we've seen this with Liverpool. On the collar, it doesn't work, although I would argue it works here. It works here a bit better than with Liverpool for the simple reason that for the Liverpool jersey last season, it was the lighter color and then the dark on there. Here it's the flipped. We have the dark main color and then there's the light pattern. I think this works a little bit better. But honestly, yeah, it's. I'm giving this also a five. Uh, I may actually like the third jersey overall the best from the color combination. However, the crest doesn't look right. It looks like a negative. Uh, this crest works better if the facial features are darker. That for me is a big no no here. Um, again, Yes, white makes sense. They have been using a golden for quite uh, for quite a while. I do like the template. Um, instead of red, maybe use blue, and maybe invert the colors for the crest. And I think you're onto something because on the other two it actually looked kind of alright, I would say. Uh, but yeah, so we are not moving trees here. Uh, it might be the one that I like best, but I have too many dislikes. I just stay straight five again. It's not ugly, but it's also not uh, exciting to me in any way. And I think that this will also be the theme for uh, the Manchester City shirts uh, largely. I mean, this uh, new jersey, I've seen it now a while. If it's one with white pants, or I, I, I think they're very big with blue pants, actually it does look all right. And I think this is uh, goes back uh, to a former player and a season in the 70s where they're wearing these, uh, what they have here is cuffs, they were wearing it on the socks. So a nice connection there. Um, I hate it when it's worn with maroon shorts. I just, uh, when they were wearing that in Sevilla, I really, I really, really, really didn't like it. But other than that, it's just, it's your average city shirt, which uses a new accent color, which is a, a in very, mu very many ways, a typical English accent color. For, uh, for, for me, when I look at Aston Villa, West Ham, uh, you know, the maroon and the light blue is very English to me because I have not seen it a lot in other leagues except for traps on sport. So in that sense, yeah, I think it's all right. Uh, it again, doesn't move me a lot. Uh, I don't find it outstanding. I actually would have preferred that the crest and the Puma logo go separate ways, but you know, so be it. Um, but it's not exciting to me. For me, this is a six star. Um, you would think that I would like probably the away jersey and in a way I actually do. This is a better jersey than what Milan is wearing at the moment. Uh, let's get that out of the way and I actually wouldn't mind if Milan would come for one season with a little bit uh, something slanted like this one. Um, so the diagonal stripes is not anything that I dislike. I actually think it's a very, very strong look. I'm afraid that the back is, of course, plain black. I have not seen this jersey in play yet. And it's also a kind of a traditional away jersey. And as far, as far as I know, it's actually really inspired by Milan. So uh, the red and black. So uh, that makes it even cooler. The one thing is that I'm not sure how the, cr the treatment of the crest fits in there. That's the one where I am a little bit, yeah, but I think it's a very, very strong look, uh, but also one that we will, I have a feeling we will not see this a whole lot in the, uh, because it clashes with too many of the traditional, uh, you know, away kit choices. But, you know, let's see. I hope we will see this a little bit more often. Uh, except for the treatment of the crest, I actually could get on board with this uh, 
It's a new, it's a new fresh look on something traditional. I, I want to give this eight stars. I, you won't see me giving out a good, 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 great, good, great for their third jersey. I hate this jersey. I've seen it already twice, uh, both uh, uh, Aston Villa and uh, West, West Ham, where it need, needed to be used. Honestly, a, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, I'm all right maybe with him the bright yellow, although I th oh, the, it's, it's a bright green. I think it's a bright green. Um, that, okay, but why the gray? And you know, this is, it's, 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 it looks like an oversaturated picture. It, I just, I don't like it. I really, really don't, don't like it. That to me, um, because I'm in a decent mood, I'm gonna give it, nah, it's a one star. I'm sorry. <laughs> no two stars for me. I hate it. I really, really hate it. Any case, that was it for me from part one. Let me know which churches you liked in here. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And yeah, I will also posting a poll which jersey set you like best in here. And in any case, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.